Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the R4 card for the Nintendo DS. And how I made it easy for anybody to use and set up. First, I'm going to show you the setup before I actually show you how to download it. So as you can see, we have our three folders, but what you want to do is go to micro SD card. Here we have apps, DS, emulators, underscore RPG, and data. The data won't actually be there when you download it, though. So, if we go to apps, here we have a whole bunch of different apps that were homebrewed. So, uh, we have colors here. For example, if we take out the stylist, this is just a quick little color um, kind of application that you can just kind of draw. It's pretty simple, but you can probably do a lot of more stuff with this. You can also change the colors as well. I'll link down the right and left button. And uh, doing a whole bunch of stuff. And then we have Nature Tracker, which is a music maker. Uh, next we have DS, so um, uh, we have, of course, all of these DS games. These you will have to get your own DS games, I could not provide them, but I will provide the um, apps, because those are not copyrighted at all. As you can see, all these games work perfectly fine if I pick, for example, Mario Kart DS. It should work perfectly, and you should just play just like having the actual cartridge. And you can also play a lot of hacks, such as newer Super Mario Bros. DS. So next we have emulators. So here's of course where you're going to store your ROMs. I have a different, bunch of different folders here. For um, all bunches, so we have Super Nintendo, NES, uh, Game Gear and Master System, we have the Sega Genesis, and there's also the Game Boy as well. So anyway, uh, if we go to, let's check out the first one, which is DS Master Plus. So you can see we can actually load game, uh, and all you have to do is just go to your emulators, and of course here will all be your games. The GBA one, however, won't be in the download, since it's not stable enough and doesn't work very well. So of course, all you're going to do is go into your folder where that game is, and you can actually play it. As you can see, this Game Gear will start working. The Game Gear doesn't work as well, but at least it's an option to play it. But you guys can probably fool around with this and see exactly what you guys like. Next we have Genesis DS. So you're gonna go back to emulators, and of course go to the folder such as Genesis, and we're gonna go to Sonic the Hedgehog. As you can see, there is the game. The Genesis works extremely well, and there's not there's no glitches at all. I have to say this is probably one of the best emulators on DS to play games like this. Next, we're going to check out the Lame Boy. So you need to do is go to the emulators once again, go to the Game Boy and Game Boy Color section, and pick a game such as Super Mario Land 2, the 6 Golden Coins DX. You can see the game should work perfectly fine. You can also, there's a couple of settings if you want to adjust the ratio, but I think pulling it to uh, Full screen honestly looks really good. This is another fantastic ROM hack, by the way. And it's really good by changing a lot of sprites with a lot of colors as well. Next we have LOL SNES. This is actually a really, really good um, Super Nintendo emulator. There's a lot of other ones, but this one I've seen is the best working for a lot of games. As you can see, Super Mario World shows up, and actually this game works very, very well. It works a lot better than a lot of other ones I've seen. Um, as you can see, if you go to a level here, 
it actually works how it should. It's 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 perfectly on point, I have to say. However, some games will not work, such as um, F0. This game does show up, but it's a little on the glitch side. And uh, yeah, some games do crash. Next we have NES DS. So if we go to our NES folder here, we have a whole bunch of games right here. So if we go to, for example, um, Super Mario Bros. Rebirth, which is a ROM hack of Super Mario Bros. It just changes a couple things. As you can see, it works very well. Of course, you can also change the ROM. There's a whole bunch of different settings. Like I said, I'm not going to be going much into the settings because that's something for you guys to figure out on your own and what you like. And then we can go to a game such as Super Mario Bros. 3. And as you can see, the game will work perfectly fine. It does, however, um, switch some of the sprites. So they end up looking a little bit weird. But overall, the game is perfectly playable. So yeah, for the emulators, all you guys need to do is just provide the ROMs and put them in the selected folders. And that's all you need to do. So let's go to underscore RPG. Here is where you put your cheats, so you can change fonts, icons, just different um, things here. You have a uh, system, you have the UI. Here's where you can actually change a lot of the skins. But to do that, you need to go to the start button. So if you go start, then you go all the way down to settings. Here you can select the interface uh, styles. You can go just black, GBA temp, or Zelda, which is the one I have on right now. You can change your language, you can set the list of file types, or you can press uh, save mode, which just kind of removes a lot of the mess on the screen. But then it will also remove the start button, meaning that you can't actually go back and fix it. And then you'll have to go into your computer and change it that way. So anyway guys, now I'm going to show you how to download this thing. So what you will need is an R4 card, and this has to be the original one for the Nintendo DS Lite and the original Nintendo DS. And you'll also need a 2GB uh, microSD card. And also make sure that you have some way to connect the microSD card to your computer by using an adapter or a USB adapter. Next, you'll need to go down to the description and download everything here, and then put it on the root of your SD card. As you can see, everything is here perfectly as it should. You can add more apps if you want. You can add DS games right in this folder. And if you go to emulators, you can add the games inside the folders at the top. And then you can take out your SD card, pop it in your R4, and enjoy playing. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions about the R4 and if it's not working for you, please leave it in the comments down below. And with that, see you later.